Hi guys, so great to see that you're tuning in to What of the World today. As you know, we're on a big adventure in Africa. We started in Tanzania, visited Zanzibar, and from there we flew all the way to the south in Cape Town to pick up our camper van, a four-wheel drive that takes us through South Africa, Namibia, and the next country, which is Botswana. And what an adventure it has been so far. We drove along the South African west coast through overwhelming nature. From the Kalahari Desert we drove into Namibia. Straight through the sand dunes of the Sossesvlei. Crossing all the highlights of Namibia, we arrived at the world-famous Itosha Safari Park. Before we go on to our next adventure, it was time to spend one more night here in Tsunep. That's a little place just outside Etosha on the east side. And this is Tsunep Backpackers Guest House. And if you look around, you'll see that it's one super nice place where you can hang out for the day. Uh, we have to go on, unfortunately, but I wanted to show you this magical place. It's really got that surfer hippie vibe. Awesome. We can't relax for too long because we have a long drive ahead of us for about 5 hours. At this almost Dutch station of Shell, we fill up the car on gas and have our windows cleaned. And that was pretty necessary. What an adventure so far guys! From South Africa we saw all of Namibia's highlights and in the north we went to Itosha National Park and that was just yesterday when we went on two days of safari and today we drove a long bit already uh, so we drove to the border with Botswana from Itosha and on the way you see a small town on a road that is only accessible with a 4x4 and that small town is called Tsunkwe and Tsunkwe has only one lodge, which is the Tsunkwe Country Lodge, and this is where we are now. We sleep right there in this little cottage, and uh, the sun is going down, we're ready to have some dinner, and all is good here in Namibia, and tomorrow in Botswana. We can't believe how fantastic this food is, and the luxurious places to sleep, with nothing in sight for hundreds of miles. Well, there is something here, the tiniest border crossing in all of Africa. We literally cross a patch of grass towards Botswana. Here we go guys, crossing the border. We just went to the Namibian side and now we go on to the Botswana side. In the logbook we could see that only a few cars cross the border here every week or so. Wow guys, when we left Namibia they already told us that the roads would be even worse on the Botswana side. And they were right, because compared to this, uh, Namibia is heaven for a car driver. 
so many potholes when I'm just driving like 50 to 60 kilometers an hour. I still have to brake any moment like... Oh! <sighs> Unbelievable. This is the road on which we drive at least another six hours to Mon. Oh, yeah, sure, go ahead. But then we finally see paved roads again, which hardly anyone uses apart from the animals. some more air in the tires guys because the roads here are pretty nice actually tiered roads <laughs> So this little guy wanted a train. He was saying that all the time in the car when we were driving over here. So we got him one, a little train. You like it? Yeah. Good morning guys, I want to give you a little update of our travels here in Southern Africa. As you know we crossed the border from Namibia to Botswana but over here the weather was super bad. It was raining so heavily that when we came to the hotel here in Maun, uh, this is what happened with the car. The baddest of luck so far. Conclusion, a Toyota Hilux cannot sail. But on the plus side, help is always nearby in Africa. High and dry we enjoy our hotel in Maan. And nearby are the famous nature parks such as Okavango and Chobi. But due to the heavy rainfall they are completely closed now. So let's just take a rest and play with the train. We're having a nice tour today guys. Fortunately, we found an alternative, where many animals can be found. So the Okavango Delta didn't work out for us. It was a bit of a disappointment because of all the rain we had to go somewhere else in Botswana to see animals, and we did. About a one and a half hour drive from Mon, uh, we found Nai Pan National Park, which is a huge park as well, with some forest, a lot of flats, uh, water holes, and we're gonna try and find as much animals as we can here in Botswana. Let's go. I have to give you guys another tip because if you go into the safari parks the last thing you want is to get stuck in the mud or in the sand. So be sure to have your tire pressure right. Uh, over here it says 2.3 on tar roads, gravel too uh, and I think 1.5 will be alright in this safari park because there's a lot of sand and I got this device which I can connect to the front of the car, uh, to the battery and then uh, I can uh, remove some pressure and I put back in. On the end, uh, I'll put it on 2 or 2.5 again to go on to Zimbabwe later. As always, we first see some impalas. But also the heart beast. And spring box. We 
see kudus and also many birds. Inside the park you can see that there has been a lot of rain because at the water holes there aren't as many animals as we're used to because there's water everywhere now. So we have to find them scurrying around the bushes and that's a little bit harder but... There are a lot of giraffes. Yeah, night pen is for the giraffes guys. One big advantage guys in this season is that there are a lot of grass eating animals and that's why there are a lot of predators too. So we see a lion right there. So close to the car and without any other tourists inside. they are not the only predators in Naipan. There are also many spotted hyenas. here I'm starting to see a pattern a zebra pattern oh my god you're kidding me by the way the zebra is officially the national animal of Botswana and this little lilac breasted roller is also a true icon of the country What a day guys, we saw so many animals in the Nepan National Park. And we're back at the entrance gate, uh, which is also the exit because there is only one. And we're driving on towards Zimbabwe. It's still a five hour drive, there's not much accommodation in this area. And at night it can get very dangerous because elephants will be crossing the roads. A lot of wildlife in general and the road isn't in the best condition, the A3. So uh, we're leaving early uh, in the afternoon and uh, let's see where the adventure takes us next. So let's see if we can spot some elephants by chance, or a gigantic aardvark. Before we went on this little road trip towards the Zimbabwe border that takes about uh, 7 hours in total, with Naipan National Park on the way, uh, we saw that the conditions of the road were supposed to be very bad, with a lot of potholes, and they say it's very dangerous to drive here, especially at night. Uh, but I have to say, uh, we're halfway to the border of Zimbabwe, um, I think about three more hours to go, and the roads are still fine actually, so maybe that information isn't really that up to date, so now in 2023, uh, the road looks pretty okay to me actually. This is so incredible and this is why I started traveling in Botswana in the first place. We just hit the brakes because along the road we see this super huge elephant here. And yeah, we just can't stop looking at it. Uh, we're in the middle of the road, there's nobody here so we can just stop at any moment. And uh, yeah, this is my day, how is yours? You won't find them any wilder than this. Botswana is actually one large safari park. Tune in next time as we drive into Zimbabwe. And after a few more safaris, a completely new adventure awaits. 
Mauritius. So subscribe and I'll see you soon.